Okay, I want to talk a little bit today about, I got some questions that people have been asking, uh, questions about VIP spreadsheet. I want to talk a lot about FIB levels just to kind of brush everybody up on that and then market cycles briefly. So let's jump into this market. So uh, as far as finding the all-time Bitcoin chart, you got to go to Bitstamp, B-I-T-S, or Bitfinex, okay? Uh, Bitfinex is B-I-T-F. So let's go Bitstamp. Go over here, you have to use a BTC USD chart. These these are older exchanges. The Binance wasn't around uh, years and years ago. So <clears throat> go to the daily chart. You want to make sure it's on log scale, put it on log scale, and then zoom out, go back in time. Let's rewind it back to 2013. Okay, so here's your here's your chart. You know, a lot of people are going to draw trend lines across here to see where we're at. They might draw trend lines across here. This is how you get uh, the all-time chart for Bitcoin, Bitstamp or Bitfinex. Let's talk a little bit about market cycle. So if you're just getting into the group and you're new, these are easy. You don't have to know much at all to understand this. So there's four phases you've got. So this is accumulation when you're just moving sideways. So this is when all the institutions and the whales are buying. This is markup. Uh, this is when retail investors start to FOMO in up in here. Uh, then you get distribution where uh, you have all your smart money and whales are selling typically slowly. They sell real slowly using bots so that they don't, they're not working against themselves. If you ever go in on a smaller exchange and sell a bunch of a crypto, you're, you're gonna, if you sell it, you're gonna take down a ton of the buy orders. You know, take down a whole list of them. So in order to prevent from that, they just sell it really slow over time. So this is the markdown phase. This is when retail investors really start to sell it, to sell off. Then again, you go right back into accumulation and it just repeats accumulation. So what we want is we're looking for charts that have been through these phases that are in accumulation, okay? So that you're not, you don't have to wait two months, three months, four months for it to play out. Uh, if you start to see a slight uptick in price right here, a rounding like we've been seeing all these rounding bottoms, um, these are good midterm type holds. Any, any charts that you see that are just basically flat forever. So I had somebody that I talked to and they, they said, hey, Chris, I got these coins in my portfolio and all of them are down like 60, 70 percent. Well, what happened is, of course, uh, they were bought in uh, distribution or markdown phase. So he wrote it all the way down. To the bottom so nothing yeah nothing good's going to come of this so if you're as soon as you recognize markup is over you might as well dump your coins up here and then position yourself find another crypto that's all these market cycles are going to be different with each coin okay uh so you know it's really important instead of letting your money just be stale in these cryptos go ahead and move it to a coin that's already at the close to the end of accumulation again you start to see this slight uptick remember this is accumulation down here you start to see, see the slight turn and that's when you get a lot of your positive price action so move your cryptos if you're buying here or your coins are, are in this part of the market cycle then you basically want to pivot them and move your money so that it's at the end of the accumulation phase skip all this these are months and months potentially that need to pass so skip all this and, and find coins where you start to see this uptick and you'll see midterm if you go to the Announcements Telegram channel, you can search for mid-term and you'll have a lot of mid-term ideas that are uh, closer to the markup phase. Already finished with markdown and accumulations coming to an end as well. So I wanted to make sure to cover that. Okay, so, uh, so real quick on these triangles I just want to talk about. So I see a lot of triangles and they're, and they're drawn like this. Okay, and so the problem is that you've got all this dead space in here you want to avoid this is this a triangle maybe but you really want to get in a perfect world you would have these even touch points where this would have came down here bounced here this is in a perfect world it's not going to happen like this all the time you're going to get bounces like this back and forth back and forth so when you start skipping a bunch of the area like down here potentially even here what I want you to do is start to look for wedge type patterns uh, where 
you can get more touches. You don't want to skip a bunch of touches. This potentially is not the best example, so I just wanted to, I was thinking about this and potentially this is what it is, but you, you want to get as many, you want to get as many touches in here as you can. See all these touches, 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 touches. You got one, two, you know, potentially that's a breakdown. It's hard to tell. Uh, but just the key is you want to get all these touches. So this is a falling wedge versus this triangle with, you know, two touches on each side. Okay, because you don't have any touches here, any touches here. All right, and then uh, it's also important you, you can't just take your triangle and just draw through a candle like this. Like sometimes, yeah, the candles will break outside uh, the triangle and come back in, but you, you, you can't just, you know, start running through all the candles. BQX. So you see, you basically have your mark down. Accumulation wasn't very long here. You got mark up really quick. There's, here's your distribution, mark down, accumulation. You got a little bit of a run up here, but again, essentially you'll probably go back into accumulation phase at this point. So, you know, if you're in coins, if you're in coins that you're in a downtrend, if you're in coins, you're in this downtrend, you're here. Yeah, sell that coin and find and find a coin that's that's here instead. You see how it's already rounded out. This rounded bottom is a bullish reversal pattern. So it's really if you if you've ridden coins down to the bottom and you're just oh that nothing's happening with this coin, that is potentially like these coins that nobody's talking about. That's the best buys in crypto. The money in crypto is made by buying what nobody else is talking about. Okay, so this is a 12 hour chart. Make sure you guys are a ton of people are using 30 minute time frames. 15 minute time frames, five minute time frames for patterns. Really the, the four hour is my favorite. I'll use it 70% of the time. I'll use it daily a lot of times. Your cup and handles are gonna be uh, the best on the daily time frame. Sometimes even weekly, you know, so you wanna zoom out. So this is 12 hour. Uh, so you wanna figure out, let's say strat runs up. Go to your fib level, go to the fork over here. Go to fib retracement down here. You want to figure out where Fib. So uh, you want to figure out where Strat is going to end up. So Strat runs all the way up here. So you measure, you pull from the bottom to the top. Potentially, you can use the wicks or the candles, just which, whichever lines up better. So right now, I can see there's major support right here. So I'm going to look for a Fib Fib retracement that's going to come down to about this point. Okay, so. In order to do that, there's a little bit of trial and error to it, but you can see, you know, that's pretty close. So this move, the, this move would be a hundred percent move, right? Because that's where we went from. We went from zero percent to a hundred percent. So on the move lower, here's seven, eight, six. So this means the price pulled back 78 per 78.6%. If it pulled back here, this is the halfway point between here and here, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is not really a FIB level. It's Dow theory, but same difference. For, for our purposes. So you start to see this clear support, all right? So then at this point, you're looking for a bounce at this, at this level. And you're really gonna buy the bounce. Just like you buy a breakout, you need volume to come in and you need, a, you need a candle body close. So now let's say we wanna figure out where this bounce is gonna go. To do that, we would pull from the other way. All right, so this also, you measure the move from the top to the bottom. Alt-H is gonna draw a horizontal line. Okay, so you, you could see a retrace and it's called a retrace even though it's a move higher. Here, here. Okay, that's probably the most common ones. 382.5618. So you're looking, your target is going to be one of those areas. So potentially you'd start taking profits here uh, say you take 50% of your profits here, 30% here, 20% here. Okay, so you, that's, that's, it's that easy with fib levels. So you pull from bro both directions. An easy way to remember is you pull in the direction of the trend. Start from the bottom up, and that gives you the retrace. And then you start from the top down, and that gives you the bounce going the other direction. So let's look at theta. Theta is one that's played out pretty well over the last couple days, there's a call that I 
posted the other day, and, and there's one I, I basically reposted this bounce. So theta, like so, if you start down here and pull it to here, you can pretty much eye it and say, hey, this is going to be the 50% retrace right in the middle. It's going to be 0 0.5, right? This is where it would come down to this area. If you pull your fib, you pull it from the start of the move, potentially right here, the low, to the swing high. And you can see if you, and then it's going to give you the measure here, 50% retrace, you could probably eye it and see this is going to be 50%. Okay, but what I wanted to do here is the move really started here. A lot of this run up did. So in this case, I'm going to pull from here and that's going to give me 50%. I can pull the retracement levels from here to here. So you can see 50% retrace would be in here. This is going to be 100% retrace right here. Okay, and you can just figure out, you know, that by just looking at it after over time. So let's just do it uh, with our fib retracement tools. So let's just figure out from the, the beginning of the move. I want to start here, okay, because this is a pretty significant move. And I want to find out what move to the downside would this be. So pull your fib level and you can see theta gave back all of its gains if you didn't if you didn't take your profits you guys have got to take your profits we know that we talk about it all the time if you don't somebody else is going to take them from you okay then so so when i saw this theta retraced a hundred percent you know a lot of times it'll retrace 50 percent dow theory 618 is the golden ratio so for sure i thought hey we're gonna get a bounce here uh, and then you're basically buying that bounce. And then quite a few people got in on this one. You know, I saw people in chat talking about, I'm getting in theta. Uh, so it's important to know how to figure out where's the target of this bounce gonna be. So we don't have any information on it. So where are we gonna find a target at? So now we're going with the trend, bought the top to the bottom. Again, fib retracement, top to the bottom, right about here. Okay, so you wanna start to want to take profits at the 3A2, okay, so this you're gonna take profits here. Potentially you could even take them sooner, 236, but you're probably gonna get, chances are you're probably gonna get 0 0.382, 0 0.5. If we get 618, that's amazing. That's how you set your targets on a lot on a lot of the moves. All right, so this is ADA on the four hour chart. So you're in you've got a rising wedge. But the important part here is I wanted to show you fib retracement. So we're gonna start down here. So we want to see how far we're gonna pull back. Boom, done. And you see, ADA pulled back. It's, it's found support right here on the 3A2. Like all your bots are programmed with these levels. Potentially, you know, it got a little bit of a bounce. Is this gonna hold? We don't know. Retail, what's retail doing here? They just have no clue. They're like, oh, it's going down. I'm just gonna hodl. You're gonna just take their money, essentially. EOS, cup and handle, bullish pennant. It's gonna break out soon. Keep an eye on this one. So you've got, it's very common to have multiple patterns inside the same, uh, on the same chart. Okay, so here's a bull pennant. So this is a bull pennant. Potentially you can even draw it here. This is the target. Okay, so you take profits at this level. Then you've got your cup target here. Also, what else do you wanna consider? If you're looking for levels of resistance as far as taking profits, I'm gonna clear this real quick. But you have your, you have your targets up here. Okay, you're gonna you're, you're potentially gonna want to take some profits here because this is resistance there's also resistance here which is it's support but in this in the future past support becomes future resistance and vice versa so you're also you're gonna have there's some resistance right here you maybe want to take some there there's gonna be resistance here here all over the place right here so will we make it up to this cup target it's not gonna be easy it's gonna take a bunch of time um, it, you know, potentially months before it gets up here. This is a, a daily chart. So you're looking at weeks before some of this plays out. So you're constantly, every day I want you guys to go through, uh, pick 10 charts and just look at them every single day. You have a real good feel for them, potentially coins that you like, potentially, but at the end of the day, fundamentals don't really matter right at this point in crypto. They just don't. You, not, hard, hardly any of these have use cases. Look at basic attention token. It's got a use case. It's got a working product. You know, the price got destroyed so yeah did it bounce up sure i think it 3x at one point it's pulling back now but the point is the idea of mainstream adoption is going to pump these prices yeah it's going to happen but it's not going to be anytime soon
So everything in, in cryptocurrency right now is very speculative. And you're really like these charts are the best way to buy and sell these cryptos by far. Yeah, news matters, but news only matters because people think it matters. So it's really a lot of things in crypto is based on how people perceive that these coins are going to do. Everybody was talking about engine wallet. Oh, it's going to be the greatest thing ever. Every single phone's going to have it. And then it comes out and it's not even pre-installed. How often does that happen? All the time. Uh, all, all these coins, you get huge pumps and then they give back a bunch of their gains. So this is a VIP trading group. This is their VIP spreadsheet. So this is an easy, fast way for everybody to look at all the charts I've posted. So I've posted all these charts over the last five days. There's a lot of them. It's hard to stay organized in this. You have to treat this like a business. Uh, if you're not a VIP and you, you don't want to upgrade to VIP, that's fine. Make a list, write all these down. You can do this manually yourself. You can go through all these um, that are these are all probably posted in announcements, most of them. Uh, so let's say you see here's EOS. You want to pull up EOS's chart, go here, click the link, boom. I want to see what EOS is doing. Here's the setup. You want to go to uh, TNT. Okay, what's happening with this? There's two triangles to watch. You got a bullish cross of the 21 MA and the 100 MA. Boom, click this, boom, here's your chart. Easy, quick, organized. Uh, TRX, cup and handle, nice cup and handle. There's a bull pennant in the handle of the watch. This was just posted for our chart. Let's go over there. TRX, boom, easy way. Now this is broken out since then. This just gives you an easy way to access all the charts that I post. You can also go and you can bookmark it. So to bookmark it, uh, you'd, be, you'd have your chart open. You'd have your uh, VIP spreadsheet open. You click on the star, bookmark this page, and it's gonna pop out down here. So my, I put mine right here. So all, all I have to do is click this, and it takes me here. And then this is updated in real time. So if I type in a couple letters, it, you're, you're gonna see it on your spreadsheet that you have access to. Okay, so this is a pretty cool tool. Something new that we're trying out for VIPs. I wanna thank everybody for your support. None of this would be possible without you guys. Definitely excited to see some of these altcoins start moving hard again. So just be patient. If you're learning, you've got to watch these videos first. It's so much, so much easier, so much faster. I've seen some people come into this group that watched and they gutted it out. They grinded through these videos and they made a ton of progress. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much.